Hey, how's it going? Spy here and welcome to People Playground. This is a sandbox game where we can mess around with weapons. We have vehicles. Of course, there's ragdoll humans and creatures like that. And there's also weird syringe things that do a various amount of things, including turn people into zombies, which we're going to be playing with today. So right off the bat, let's spawn a guy here and let's see what we can do with him. I'm just going to do a little spin here like this. Ooh, look at him. He he's dancing. I think he died, guys, but you know what? That's okay. I kind of want to check out some weapons and vehicle things first. Maybe let's spawn a android right here. So these guys are like Terminators, and they're coming to take over. There's a guy right here. We have to protect him. So let's grab, ooh, an AK-47. So how do I use this? Oh, there we go. His head just kind of broke. What happened there? Did I just pop it off? Oh, we got one of them. Let's use a crossbow. Half-life style. Um, I don't think that works against androids. We need something bigger. Disassembler? Take this, you android jerk! Oh. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa! That actually worked! All right, we saved the human being, but oh no, we, we he, he's turning into a zombie. We gotta use this zombie syringe and we gotta go, Ugh. Did that work? I don't think he's turning into a zombie. I think I just killed him. <laughs> okay, there's our new human. Let's just use the zombie syringe right off the bat. Is there a certain way I'm supposed to use this? Maybe I could just donk him right on the dome with this? Come on. Oh, oh, I think I did it. Oh, look, I think he's changing colors. He's definitely turning into a zombie. Oh, man. Okay, let's uh, spawn a regular human here. Uh, we got a bunch of humans. We have to save them from this zombie. I don't think there's actual AI, though. So we just have to pretend that the zombie is going to... Like, meh, grab him, grab him like this, and then chomp him. All right, stand up, zombie jerk. Uh, did I just kill the zombie? Are you serious? I wonder if I could just copy the zombies now, like this. Yeah, I think they're turning slowly. And then we got one human being, the lone survivor of humanity. We have to save him. And we're actually in a car here. Can I drive this? Oh, I can. We got to save this dude. Take that, you zombies! <laughs> Wait, I don't think that saved him. I think that actually just killed him, and there's a couple zombies left over. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I, I didn't know the car was gonna come back! We should probably just turn the car off. <laughs> I think we did enough damage today. <laughs> we have a bomb section here, and this is an atomic bomb. You guys know I love nukes. So we're gonna clean up this area here. We're gonna spawn some humans and androids and stuff and see how much damage we could do. Maybe we'll build, build a human a base. So we got our human right there, right? Here's some crates. Maybe we'll just make a base out of these. Are our crates gonna save them? Probably not. So we're probably gonna want some brick cubes as well. Just make a little house here. That's looking nice. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm so sorry, dude. Um, is he okay? Maybe he's okay. He's kind of just crouching right there. Uh, I think he just died. <laughs> okay, we got a new guy right here. Don't worry, he's just standing on, on his dead friend. <laughs> All right, let's try out this nuke. 750 meter radius. Maybe we want to put it like right here. This guy's not going to survive. Three, two, one. Okay, he's definitely not alive after that. <laughs> that was so cool. I think he's gone. Oh, no. I know we just used a nuke on a guy, but I wonder if we can launch a guy into space. We have dynamite, we have red barrels. Everyone knows in video games, red barrels are highly explosive. So we're gonna pop a bunch of these down. We're gonna launch a guy into space by using these. Throw some dynamite right here. That's gonna be our fuse. And then on top of that, we're going to have giant wooden bowl. That will surely launch the dude into space. And we just set this off and see what happens. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He's definitely okay. He's just on fire a little bit, but we could save him. If he lands, he'll be the first ragdoll man to space that maybe survived. Okay, here we go. Yeah, he's he's definitely okay. Don't worry, we can save him. Oh, wait, there's a fire extinguisher. There we go. Don't worry, you're okay, dude. You're okay, stand up. Is there a defibrillator we could use to save him? Wait, there is a defibrillator. Lay him back like this. Grab the defibrillator. Put this on the chest. Um, clear. 
I think he's gone. <laughs> we might need to get into the syringes. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this game and want to see more on the channel, make sure to smack that like button and don't forget to subscribe. All right, we're going to bring this guy back from space. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He's alive. He was the first ragdoll man to space and we saved him. I think he's okay. He's just a little dizzy. There is an ultra strength syringe right here. We can make this man go back to space and also survive the impact of the fall back to Earth. There we go. He's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, lay this guy back down like this. He's totally fine. Get, the, get that syringe out of there. Propeller. Rigid cable. Like this. There we go. This man is going back to space. Activate. Um. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't worry. Wait, his head... His head popped off. I don't think he's alive anymore. Can we like tra transfuse a noggin onto his head? Okay, stop, stop that, stop that. Oh no, oh no. Wait, his head is still there, guys. Don't worry, he's okay. Cause he has, stu he's still alive. He has super strength. He's like Deadpool or Wolverine. He'll regrow his skin, I think. Maybe. Well, this guy isn't really standing up. We might need to help him out a little bit. He's our new test subject here. So let's make him a thing where he can stand. We're going to get some boxes, right? Like this. I beam. That's a big I beam. Oh, perfect. Fixed cable. There we go. Look, he's doing some pull-ups. Oh, he's showing off his immense strength. But sorry, dude. We got to test stuff on you. Let's get a revolver. <laughs> this is horrible. Here we go. He's a superhero. Uh-oh, we broke the boxes, but he's still okay. So we really have to test this guy's strength. If he's gonna be a superhero, he has to be invulnerable. We're gonna shoot a missile at him. Here we go. Whoa. He definitely is invulnerable. I think we turned him into a skeleton. Is he okay? Um, I think he might've died this time. <laughs> Let's get our life checker. He's dead. Oops. He's not invulnerable to everything. We got to revive him again. He's back and he's alive. Let's put him out into the real world against some zombies. This reminds me of like the Resident Evil games and movies. We just created a superhuman with some weird T virus or something. Okay, he just doesn't want to stand though. But don't worry, we can make him stand. All right, we got our zombies. These ones are super hungry, but they don't realize this guy is actually superhuman. Uh, these ones are facing the wrong way. Don't worry. They totally know he's there. They're just backwards walking zombies. <laughs> there's so many of them. Oh, there's some dynamite there. That might set off in the future. And this guy here, he was given a uh, assault rifle. Sure. Superhuman dude versus zombies. Let's test this out. Of course, he has a machine gun. Take that, zombies! Oh, wait. These zombies are actually really strong. He's not quite aiming the right direction, so let me help him out here. There we go. Take him out, dude. Okay, we got a couple of them, but let's change our weapon here. Flamethrower? Light these guys on fire. I almost got him. Is that gonna light them all on fire? I don't want them to do that. Just this little pile here. <laughs> we still got more testing to do. <gasps> a minigun. Okay, that is sweet. Well, we got a few of the zombies. I'm gonna detonate this TNT here. There we go. We got more there. We got hand grenades. I guess we'll just pull the pin on that and toss it. Where's that going? Okay, that just kind of exploded in the air. Sticky grenade? There we go. Sticky grenade to the face. Uh. All right, I'm gonna attach a thruster to this guy's butt. How does this... That, that activates the other way. <laughs> Let's attach this thruster to this guy's butt cheek like this. Let's add some rope so he doesn't uh, lose his thruster. So we're gonna pop down another nuke because that was cool. Look at all of these skeletons from the zombies. And we're going to make this guy fly away. That's his other superpower. Here we go. Um, yeah, dude, dude, d I think he's stuck. I think he's stuck. Delete. Here we go. He's, uh-oh. He's gone! And the nuke's probably gonna go off too! Wait, did he survive that? I don't think my game survived that. Did our superhero save the day? Did he? Oh, wait. Wait. I seen his body. Is that him? No. <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> Is that him right there? Oh my gosh. Um, he just flew into the wall. He, he totally survived. There's the mushroom cloud. 
The zombies were obliterated thanks to our superhuman dude, wherever he went. So I got some sad news, guys. There's no trace of him. He's gone. That's a rock Andre. He's gone. I can't find him anywhere. I searched in the air. I searched all over the ground. He was either vaporized or he went to a different... Wait, is this him? I'm just going to pretend he actually flew to a different planet. Because I think those are just zombies. But anyways, I'm going to leave this episode of People Playground off here for now. If you would like to see more in the future, don't forget to smack that like button. And for now, thanks for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet.